Use your imagination. Picture a world where the morning announcements were actually good. Interesting and riveting. Where they cover what happens inside and outside of the campus in a video format. What if I told you, you don't have to imagine any longer. This is the morning monsoon. Good morning, Valley. I'm Veronica from Channel 55, and this is the Mon Monsoon Morning. For our main story later today, I'll inform you about some dental procedures in Phoenix. But for now, let's pass it on to Nicole for weather and entertainment. Good morning, Valley. I'm Nicola Cunha at the Monsoon Morning, and welcome to our entertainment and weather segment where I give you the daily news knows about movies, music, local events, and today's weather. Let's talk about a fun event opening October 2nd. The Halloween Town Pumpkin Patch in Phoenix and Glendale opens soon and has so many fun, exciting activities to do. It's open Wednesday through Thursday and has a $7 entrance fee with free parking. The event has a huge pumpkin patch where you can find the perfect pumpkin to paint, carve, or just use as decoration. They have some fun rides as well as face paint, a hay bale maze, and they have booths where you can win some prizes. They of course have food and drink stands throughout the event if you are in the mood for a sweet treat or something savory. Have fun on the rides, eat the tasty food, and take part in the games. There's so much to do and you can find out more by going to HalloweenTownAZ.com. It's very much kid friendly if your siblings feel like tagging along, so tell your friends and family and get your tickets now. If you're 18 or will be 18 before November 5th, now is the best time to register to vote. Doing so, make sure you can vote in this upcoming election. National Honor Society will be available to help you register during A and B lunches today. If you're interested in more Valley Fun, our homecoming dance October 5th, and the tickets are on sale right now in the bookstore, this week for $35. Prices will go up every week, as next week they will be $40. The theme is Inside Out 2 Core Memories, so make sure you, you, your friends, and dates get their tickets now. Again, they are on sale at the bookstore. On to some other. The morning of this week's show, we're expecting to see a rise in temps, sadly, as we go back to the 110s. Today's temperature is supposed to reach 105 around 3 to 4 p.m., so hold off on your sweaters. Phoenix is reaching an all-time record with heat this year as they even had to bring out water stations again for the homeless after they just put them away last week when the heat was expected to dip. That's all for today's entertainment and weather segments. I'll see you all tomorrow. Back to you, Veronica. Thank you, Nicole. Make sure you follow our Instagram and YouTube channel. That's where we post all of our broadcasts and where you can watch your next football game with Hamilton tomorrow. Speaking of sports, let's give it to Gabe. Good morning, Valley Vista. My name is Gabriel De La Garza, and welcome to our sports segment. The Arizona Cardinals are, are ranked second place in the NFC West Division. We're all excited to see our new rookies play and how far they can take us. Speaking of Arizona sports, the Phoenix Mercuries have lost their place in the playoffs this season. The fans are worried since they have heard rumors about Diana Taurasi retiring soon. In other news, get ready for Valley Vista football tomorrow. This will be one of their greatest challenges yet since they'll be playing Hamilton High School. They were ranked 7th in the state according to MaxPreps.com. I'm confident we're not going to make it easy for them to beat us, especially after last Friday's game where we scored three touchdowns. No matter what, show your support by going to the game or tune in since we're live streaming it. That's all for today's sports segment. Thanks for watching. I'll pass it back to you, Veronica. Thanks, Gabe. And now on to our main story for today. A woman in Phoenix pleads guilty for doing dental procedures in her home without a license. Luckily, nobody was injured. The court says that, is, that probation is appropriate. The procedures took place between January of last year and just this past June. She advertised herself as a dentist on Instagram and Facebook that found pa and found patients through her job. That does it all for today, Valley. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.